G'day. I'm going to burst the talking stitches bubble this week because I'm going to have a go with Sammy J. If you have a go with Sammy J, you'll get a go with Sammy J. Mike, your leg's on my seat. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Too much. Don't man spread it. It's too undignified. Much. Too much. Too, too much. much. Too All much. Right. All right. Sammy, there's been a lot of talk about sticks. They're quite happy to get the big stick out on the homeowners, Mr Speaker. Are you a stick man? Oh, look, I think everyone likes to carry a stick. Um, as to the size of the stick, that's entirely dependent on who you're trying to scare. I'm sort of a short and thick. I've got little, thin little sticks here. Energy companies, is it better to bruise them or sting them? I think it's better to break up your sticks and use them as firewood so you yeah. don't have to pay for electricity. Off-grid all Off the way. Off-grid, solar. But the, but the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow. You've ruined but the everything. the sticks always burn. <laughs> Well, look, Malcolm was away for the Wentworth uh, wipeout. But was he? We're going to stab you in the most humiliating and bloody way. But, hey, hang around and you can campaign for us yep. just to make sure that your successor gets in. It's like being kicked out of your own birthday party yeah. and then forced to make lolly bags yeah. for everyone. <laughs> Peter Broman, so where the bloody hell were you? Yep. As, uh, as They seem to be having yep. a little tanty here. I, I mistook Malcolm for Harold Holt in this picture, just walking back out of the ocean. <laughs> I did love this, Matt mm. Golding. Um, duty to, to my party free as he's, he's willing out the staying mum champagne. Yeah, I've got to have to fact check this cartoon, Mike. I, I right. think Malcolm doesn't need to worry about duty free when he's at the airport. I reckon he can pay full price. This, I thought, was the meme of the week. Malcolm Turnbull has arrived back in Australia after the Liberal Party's by-election loss in his former seat of Wentworth. Yep. Yeah, of course, the big question is who started the fire. Yeah. Of course, you know, I mean, yeah. Turnbull would say that Dudden started it. Yeah. You know, uh, Abbott would say that Turnbull started it. Gillard would say that Rudd started it. Yeah. Really, it's just a conga line of arsonists in that place. It was quite a return this week for, for Julia Gillard. Mm. Um, uh, she came back for the apology to the victims of institutional child sexual abuse. And people literally threw themselves on the ground and tried to kiss her feet. Yeah. The love in the room, there, there must be a few other former Prime Ministers going... I've got feet, I've got shoes. Yeah, I've got shoes, I've got feet. And, uh, and like, the applause, the tears. I heard one survivor say to her, I am only alive because of you. And it was a powerful day. Yeah, it really was. Um, lovely pictures from another uh, Alex Ellinghausen. If you do look closely, you can see Kevin Rudd still just hiding <laughs> behind one of the strands there. <laughs> just waiting. Chrissy Foster and uh, Julia Gillard, and she spent most of the day, she was in the House of Reps with her, and uh, this happened um, in the Great Hall when mm. the apology took place. Really, really quite a moving Yeah, it's moment. a gorgeous show. John Shakespeare makes the point, Sammy, that um, uh, Scott Morrison's saying sorry while uh, the kid's still on Nauru. You can't just say sorry straight away while something bad is happening. You need to give it a few decades, look back, realise you're sorry. Kathy Wilcox, why were the cries of children and parents ignored? Why has it taken so long to act? Very moving. Wasn't he the former immigration minister? Julie Giller had a big week in Parliament. Um, her official portrait was unveiled on Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, I worked hard on that portrait. You yeah. know, it took me a couple of years, but yes. I'm happy with the result. Sammy, these three are long-time parliamentary staff, Anna, Lucia and Maria, and uh, Julia invited them. Uh, they're very popular around the building. Yeah. And um, Tony Abbott came up to have a conversation on stage and he was told to just wait there <laughs> while they had their photo done with them. Yeah, I believe they're, they're cleaning staff, actually. And yes, to be fair, are. that's one of the hardest jobs in that place because it takes a lot of time to mop up thwarted ambition. John Kedelka, I think, has put in a very strong bid here for um, the cartoon of the year. I wonder when Kevin's going to... And it, uh, yeah, it's... Shredded. shredded. It's Banksy as. It's Banksy as. To be fair, I think Julia's probably currently shredding Kevin's memoir as well, though. Did you buy a copy? Oh, I read you the haven't... best bits. You read the best bits? In the paper. Right. <laughs> Well, Sammy, in keeping with the uh, theme of Insiders, the musical, because Fran <laughs> Kelly sung us out. An incredible song. Yep. I think we'll have our Shall day. we? Okay. Yeah, we shall. I'll bring my stick. Back to you, Barry. I'm flat. Put the stick down. Oh, sorry. <laughs>